Hi everybody, how y'all doing? This is Carla Wynix with today's inspiration. And as always, I'm here to encourage you and to remind you that you can live every day on purpose. And <laughs> I hope I inspire somebody in some way. Um, I need to share some things. And I want to say this first, which I've said it many times, I've written it many time, times. The reason why I am so transparent and why I don't mind sharing my life. Not that I just want to put it out there, but I honestly believe that someone else is blessed or is encouraged or even even if they're not encouraged, maybe they're encouraged not to do what I do, but somehow they're impacted and that they can learn a lesson or they can see God moving or they could you know they can just see and they can know and they can they can feel empowered and they can walk away and know that God's going to bring them through whatever they're going through and I also know I also know that what I feel and what I go through I am not the only one and you need to know that you're not the only one you know you you probably could say her too them too you know you're not alone you're not alone but let me hurry up and and um share this um yeah i'm upset about something i'm saying that because i know many of you have been reading me and you wonder what in the heck is she talking about and then some of you know exactly what i'm talking about um and and as transparent as i am i don't always put everything out there because everything is not always necessary a lot of times it's me venting but the crux again of what i'm what i'm sharing is that Someone else may be able to relate or know that I can relate to you. My, um, my, I, I, I have written that I am very disappointed. I'm distraught. I'm upset. I am ticked off. I feel rejected and I feel betrayed. Not just me, but me and my whole family. Um, and yes, I was very deeply hurt by something which was to me the ultimate form of betrayal and the ultimate form of rejection rejection it was like a slap in the face after years after years 10 years actually to be exact um well august after katrina would make 10 years and we're almost there we're in july um yes we served and we've helped and it feels like that was not appreciated um but look but I'm not, I'm not going to dwell on that. I, I just want to share my feelings and why I felt the way I did, which was because I felt that was a betrayal. But I need to say this. It hurt, but it hurt because I wanted it so badly for my husband. And it just killed me that it didn't come to pass, especially, let me tell you why, not so much of the people, but because I know what God has been telling us. I know without a doubt what he has spoken to me and what he has, has spoken to my husband. And he continues to speak. And we just assume that this was the the avenue or the venue or the way or the route that God was going to bring to pass. What he, he promised us. And I believe God. I trust God. I have faith. And I know that. He would not have said this and confirmed this time after time with us if he were not going to do it. So when the rejection came, that was like, Psh. and I wanted it for him so badly. And then there's the piece of me that feels like, you know, Lord, we're decent people. We love you. We serve you. We give our all. We do our best. But in life, in our lives, we always get to the point of just about making it it seems like and i'm just going to be honest with this right now this is what i have to deal with myself i feel like you know other people get 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 the blessings and it seems like we are always short we always have to suffer we need a car you know why can't we just get another car we need this we need that and other people you know it just seem like they flourish 
And then even with this, it seemed like it was a shoe in. And so yet again, it just seemed like, you know, the, the, the rug was pulled from under us. And I felt, I felt hurt. I felt hurt. I wanted this for him so badly. And yes, I want to serve with him. I want to share with him. And I want to see him get this, what, he, what he, he desires. It's in his heart. And it's what he wants us to do. And both of us want to serve in a greater capacity. And it's like, you know, why, Lord? Why? Why? You know, what, what, what are we doing wrong? And so that really got to me. And I'm sorry. The, sheer, the tears are shedding again. He's doing well. <laughs> he's doing well. I mean, he's handling it well because, you know, he's the leader. And he knows. He knows. And I agree. We don't ever want to be outside of God's will. If it's not where God wants us to be or what he wants us to do. Really, we don't want it either. So this is my 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 inspiration to you. That I don't care how churched you are. I don't care even how much faith you have. There is still a human side. There's a human component in us. And it gets It hurts. It get it gets hurt. It gets kicked down. It gets tired. It gets slapped down. It gets rejected, and it feels like I I just can't take no more. I can't take no more. But as I said this morning, as I wrote, there's a side of me that just want to retreat, hold my head under the cover, put my head down in the sand, walk around with my head down. But the God in me will not allow it. The God in me, God is in greater is he that is in me than he that's in the world. And he won't allow it. Hold your head up. And three times I've been told by three different people, shake the dust off and keep a stepping. Shake it off and keep going. You know, and, and somebody reminded me, Daphne, my cousin, reminded me that my mama. If mama were here, she as well would tell me to shake it off and keep going. And lo and behold, my mother-in-law called me and she told me those exact words. Shake it off and keep going. And I know I have to do that. So, what's next for us? Only God knows. And we are holding his hand. And I personally am going to keep my eyes off of people. I'm going to keep my trust away from people. I'm not going to depend on people. I'm not going to rely on people. I'm not going to rely on what, you know, people... You think they're in control and they can help. But no, bottom line, this is what God wants us to know. My trust should be solely in him. Not to say I didn't have trust in him because I I did and I do. But I was also looking at people. At people. People could look in your face and smile and tell you one thing and do something else. So, you know, you definitely cannot rely on that. Are people what we're good at? What I find, and it might be all over, but since we've been in Mississippi, what I find <laughs> is that people here are good at not saying things. They talk a lot, but they don't always say things. They can look at you and say things, but they don't tell you what needs to be said or what they're thinking. You know, you don't find out the whole thing until later. And here I am. I'm open. I'm not saying I'm perfect. But I'm not going to, well, whatever. It, it don't even make sense to even <laughs> try to figure it out. But I want to encourage somebody today. If you if you hurt, if you feel rejected, if some rejected, if somebody has abandoned you, you, you know, not to say I feel that way, but I'm, I can still encourage you. If you feel betrayed, if you feel that somebody walked away from you, if you feel like, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Dedication is not there. If you feel 
you know, just, just, just let down by people. Remember, keep your faith in God. Do not keep it in people. Trust God. And, and depend on his word, number one, and listen to his voice and follow his direction because people will let you down every single time. You know why? You know why? You can't get mad at them, no, really, because they're people. They're people and they're human, just like I am. I make mistakes. I do things wrong. I, I'm sure I hurt people. I don't do it intentionally, but I'm sure I do it because I'm a human being. And I'm sorry about that. If I know of something, I, I will apologize for it. But, you know, I can't hold against people what I don't want held against me. Okay? And so, you know, I, I, I'm upset, but it's going to pass. It's going to pass. But you know what? I'm not mad. I'm ticked. There's a difference. I'm ticked, but I'm not mad. I, I refuse to be angry. Because it doesn't make sense and it's not necessary. But I'm going to do what I've been told. And I'm going to do what my mama would say if she was here. I'm going to shake it off. And we're going to go on. There's a lot for me to do. There's things for me to do. There's things for Jerry and I to do. And we're going to be doing them. So God bless you. And thank you for all of you who, who have prayed for me. Who have called me. Who have texted me. Who have emailed me. Who have inboxed me. Who even wrote um, publicly things for me. I thank you. I thank you and I appreciate your support. And I definitely appreciate your love. This is Carla Wynix with today's inspiration. And I hope I haven't messed up too bad. I hope you can still find some kind of inspiration. Forgive me for my shortcomings. Forgive me for my weakness. God bless you. Keep me in your prayers.